Put some BTP sports in your cup and listen up. I came to bring the pain. What up, though? Browns and the Bengals games. Just think, like, we used to laugh at it. Yeah. I, I literally used to call the Browns versus the Bengals. I used to call it the Super Bowl. What do you call What do you call Ohio? <laughs> Just for you, Jolivet. Oh, oh, Ohio is uh, Southwest Canada. It's referred to <laughs> it as Southwest Canada. This is a portion of America that we just wind up stuck with. Like, we didn't really want it, but... You know, I gotta give I gotta give the Browns their credit. Like they have been a joke of a franchise for I don't know since Jim Brown left. Guy, what? some Cleveland Browns fan who had a jersey and he had, <laughs> had all the names. marked off all the quarterbacks. Yeah, that uh, had come Tim Couch and, and uh, Brady Quinn, Brady Quinn, and, and uh, all all those guys. All those guys marked man. off. Oh, and 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 I think he has stopped at Johnny Manziel. <laughs> don't forget about that. Oh, man. don't forget about Johnny Manziel. Johnny oh. Johnny Football. Who you know? There's probably some grown man out there somewhere. Who still thinks that Johnny Manziel is an NFL quarterback? I, I don't know. Uh, there's at least one. His father? <laughs> <laughs> there, trust me, he had a mob. Yeah, like he did. Yeah, I mean, good, good college. Somebody, player, some but. dude bought a bus and was driving it through Dallas, and he had it uh, branded says Johnny Manziel needs to come to Dallas. I, are you serious? Yes, he bought a like a like a Madden Cruiser type bus, oh, like an actual coach bus or something. They had it labeled Johnny Manziel to Dallas. Wow. And drove around looking like a complete idiot. Legendary wow. Washington quarterback, Mr. Joe Theismann. How you doing today, buddy? Great to see you guys, both of you. Likewise. I like feel it. like I'm home, man. I got some, got some, got some, got some, some beef. I got some beef around. I got some linemen taking <laughs> care of me. I, 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 just, I, just, I just sort of nustled back into the sweetness of the pocket again here. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. Go ahead. I think they listened to what we said last week. Hunters eat tonight. Farmers plant their seeds and they go, and they wait for the harvest. Maybe you get something, maybe you don't. It's the old Jack and the Beanstalk type theory. I got the I got this cattle right here. Mm-hmm. I can have me some steak tonight, or I got these beans. They may be magic, they may not. Well, you know, we may get the rain, so, we may get the sun, and they may sprout, they right, may not. Right. No, no, no. It's kind of like and and I'm I'm gonna equate this. Deshaun Watson to the Browns is the equivalent, maybe, it may be the equivalent of Matthew Stafford to the Rams. Since they're sold on this Davis Mills. Davis Mills? Are Come they sold on, on Davis Mills? I, I think they are. I think they're at least going to give them a shot because they haven't made, put themselves in position to make any kind of moves. And let's be perfectly honestly honest here. Yes, Deshaun Watson had complete control of this situation. Mm-hmm. But for them to walk away from that situation – Without at least one Pro Bowl pal- caliber player is complete foolishness. It was all picks, right? right. They didn't get a single picks. player, right? Yeah, they got picks. There's so many places we can go, which is so neat about this football right. game. That's what makes this one special. Oh, absolutely. All right, Mr. Theismann, we most definitely Thanks, guys. your time. And uh, come back and see us. Thank you so much. Right. Great Let's being start. with you guys. Thank you. Thanks like so I said, I'm in a cradle of love right now. With my <laughs> offensive you can stay as long as you want. She, she might not like it, but you can stay as long as you want. I'm just going to. Because listen, even if, okay, even if you are sold on Davis Mills, even now, I didn't get to watch, I may have watched maybe two Texans games mm-hmm. last year because, of course, they normally play at the same time as my Lions. So. I, I don't I don't get to watch them because of course I'm watching the Lions. Mm-hmm. But the couple of times like during our bye week or whatever, I watched the Texans and when I looked at Davis Mills, he wasn't bad. But I don't know if he's somebody that he, he, somebody's yeah. loud. Um, but I don't know if I would if I'm sold on Davis Mills. What's up, man? I'm happy to be here. I like what y'all doing, man. I see some energy from this booth, so I definitely wanted to get involved. Absolutely, for Absolutely. sure. So. Y'all see, y'all see, he got his little Super Bowl pendant on. <laughs> y'all know me. Y'all know who my squad is. So when I saw it, I had to go up and, and holler at him. But, um, but like uh, me and Darren were saying, the thing that we respect more than our respective teams mm-hmm. is the game of football. For sure. For sure. Yep. I mean, you've been there. Mm-hmm. You got a chip. Yep. You, you've been here. You've played in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You've done the media thing. That's why they give you picks because you suck and they're trying to help you get off your ass and put your team back together. Picks are for losers. Players are for winners. Proven players. Proven players. You go out and get guys that can play football, not guys, yeah, maybe all his combine film, all his game film from college. No, 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 no. No. I want guys that done it. You show me stats. Show me guys that done it. Show me Pro Bowl. Show me all pros. Those are the guys that move the dial for you. You're going to just sit there and fight with Jacksonville 
Oh, we're getting the number one draft pick next year <laughs> again. Or we have the great legendary Eric Dickerson. Ed, what's going on, big guy? All good, brother. How you doing? Clean too, brother. Thanks, brother. Man, let me t- <laughs> I didn't want to wear this today. I, I, I feel I feel like a, a southern preacher right now. <laughs> we need we need to do a, need to do a better job. And you know, finally, I got I got the call. I, I got the call from 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 Jeff Fisher, and this has been what I don't know for four years. Got I got the call and said that. Um, he said, I will get the call. I said, hey, I said, Eric, I said, yeah. He said, Jeff, I said, how you doing, Jeff? He said, I want to talk to you about it. No, he just said, I'm going to get right at this. He said, um, you're not going to talk about my team. You're talking about my players and expect favors from the team. That's not going to happen as long as I'm head coach here. I said, I said, oh, I said, okay. And I said, finally, when he said, I, said, I, said, I, said, I said, man, Jeff, I said, man, thank you for the call. I appreciate the call. He said, okay. He said, I'll talk to you. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, it's my turn now. I said, Jeff, I said, let me explain something to you, man. I said, really, thanks for the call. I said, but first of all, I say, F the Rams. I said, I don't work for the Rams. I said, I don't work for the Rams. I said, man, let me explain something to you, man. I said, I play for this football team. I said, I will always be Eric Dickerson of the Los Angeles Rams. I said, you go somewhere. You, I said, you can go back to Tennessee and coach. I said, you're going to be a coach. I said, I played here. I said, man, I have the right. I said, I said, when did, I said, when did players become like bitches, you can't talk about them. I said, that, I said, I said, they talked about us. I said, even I talked about myself. On behalf of Detroit Lions Nation, y'all are welcome. <laughs> y'all well, welcome. You know what, man? I got to say this here. I feel bad for y'all, man. I ain't going to lie, man. Thank y'all. Thank, thank, thank you. You know what? I can't lie. I mean, I was shocked they traded us to him. I mean, I was. I mean, you know, I, I give Detroit. I give Detroit this much credit. They let him out of there to give him, have him, a, give him a chance to win a Super Bowl. So I'm sure that Detroit is pulling for him. So I'll say this. I always talk about Detroit as being. Y'all, y'all sorry to say hello. I just got to <laughs> sorry to say. Hello. But and then when he start winning, uh, yeah. But this. So now we get into the playoffs. First game against Arizona. I say, I said we're gonna beat Arizona. I told my boy Roy Green that plays for Arizona. I said. We're going to beat y'all's ass. I, 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 I said, we're going to beat y'all's ass. People talking about Matthew. I said, I'll tell you what. Put Tom Brady in Detroit for 12 years and see what happens. He ain't Tom Brady. You could put Aaron Rodgers there. You could put Superman there. He wouldn't be Superman no more. He'd just be soup. Came to bring the pain. What up, though? I came to bring the pain. No fluff, just real stuff. I came to bring the pain. Okay.